Lower Sex Science Physics Topic 1 Unit and Measurement In this unit, we are going to learn about physical quantities and measurements. So why measurement is important in the process of science? We measure everything in science. We can measure the height of a person. We can measure the height of a lorry or an ERP entry or even the mass of your bag. So in other aspects of science, we use measurements to make sure that we can verify our theories, our prediction, and the outcome of our prediction is accurate. By making accurate measurements, we can therefore be sure of our theories are correct. Let's look at our notes. For the first topic, units and measurement. Okay, let's look at the objective of our learning. In unit 1.1, in physical quantity, there are four learning objectives. The first one, we must able to state all physical quantities consist of a numerical magnitude and a unit. Let's look at what are physical quantities. Physical quantities describe physical properties of an object by measurements. So, it consists of a magnitude, that is the amount. For example, 7 meter long. The 7 is the magnitude, which is talk about the size or the amount or the magnitude of the length. Then, the unit of the length is meter. So, in every measurement, we must have a magnitude and a unit. Let's look at this example. A ceiling, it is 0 0.1 meter tall. Now, can you identify the physical quantity which is consists of the magnitude 0 0.10 and the unit is meter. So this physical quantity that we are measuring is length. How about the mass of a bag of fertilizer which is, is 0 0.05 Kilogram. So the physical quantity that you are measuring is mass and can you identify the magnitude? It is 0 0.05. Of course, the unit is kilogram, symbol kg. So now let's attempt this question. Can a physical quantity be measured? using two different units. Can you give an example or a few examples? For example, the height of a person can be measured in cm and also we can measure the height of a person in meter or even in feet and inches. Can we measure a physical quantity with just magnitude but without units? Can you think of some examples. For example, the head count of the number of students in a class. For example, there are 40 students. Then we say that this physical quantity is measured in magnitude only, but there is no unit. Another example is the number of stones on the floor. There is a magnitude. For example, 10 stones on the floor. The 10 is the magnitude, but there is no unit. 